that a euphonium? It is. Yeah. Is that a real euphonium? Yeah, yeah, it's a girl. Yeah. I might have played it. Yeah, Very small girl. Yeah. Ginger hair. When I say a girl, I mean a student teacher, but... And I'm going to America to record quite a few traditional country artists. But everything is changing now, so I think maybe we're going to end up using maybe quite a few English artists as well. The artists can change, it doesn't have to be so regimented. I think you still go there and record a lot of musicians. Mm. But I kind of like the idea of using maybe some English singers. The prospect of this album is very exciting. It's the Ameri I've been to Texas before and absolutely loved it. It was absolutely great just to hear the country music on the radio, the twang of pedal steel. Everywhere you go, it's amazing. And just the kind of voyage of discovering the roots of country as kind of tourists, but people who, you know, who really do know, know about it and want to learn more almost. Just to meet, you know, the people where the songs came from, go to the places. Well, you know, a lot of songs are about place names, what Grandpa and stuff is. Just to go to those places and see what inspired all these songs would be great. Yeah, it is actually perfect timing, Mars. Yeah, maybe it is less notes, yeah. I would say it's suddenly become more pop music, so in a weird kind of way. There's a country twang to him, definitely somewhere in there. I think the tape before was better. Like the Beatles, but not. Yeah. Every track we've done so far is upbeat. We can take a simple, what was originally a very relaxed or melancholy song, and we're kind of giving it more tempo, which can make it less sad in a way, I suppose. We're just a bit more of a party album so far. Yeah, I guess that's just the way we produce records. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's mellow. Yeah, it should all trip out and get a bit spatial, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like your yoga lessons, right? <laughs> 